Well, a big night ahead for players and fans alike here in North London. My name's Derek Ray, and delighted to have alongside me, as usual on these occasions, Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Tottenham Hotspur up against Crystal Palace. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? This is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Matt Doherty plays with Reggie Long in the fullback positions. Hyung Min Son plays with Lucas Moura out wide. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Harry Kane. Well, this is the team Crystal Palace have picked. Well, it's the same formation, but they use it to press the ball high up the field. And rarely do the wide players drop deep to defend. And watch out for the midfield three who continually rotate their positions. And underway here at the home of Tottenham Hotspur. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Lucas. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. Hoybier. Now Harry Kane. Oliver Skip. Well read to put an end to that attack. Jairo Riedewald. Tremendous ball played through. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Fabier, Delhi, Skip, Doherty has it, Delhi Alley, well there to intercept, now potential danger, he continues his run, can't argue with that little move, now will the cross work out for them, oh a superb save, Romero now with Delhi Oliver Skip Harry Kane that's how to rob them of possession oh lovely ball Lucas Moura and he read it well defensively. Couldn't quite hang on. Well, they can bring it out now. Well, you sense it's just a matter of time before they do score, Derek. They've been piling on the pressure now and really should be ahead in this one. 
and space to cross it well can they open up the defence here and a goal to open the scoring no wonder they're celebrating well here we can see it again and he does so well to skip beyond the defender it just buys him that bit of time to get his shot away that's a really nice goal Underway once more, Tottenham have the lead. Jean-Philippe Mateta. MacArthur, really good interception. Poibier, now Harry Kane. Matt Doherty so nearing the break and Spurs hold the edge what have you made of their performance to this point? well it's been a tight game so far but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball particularly in midfield where they've just started to take control they'll be fairly happy going in at half time if it stays like this corner to Spurs as they look to press home the advantage And played short. Tyre. Kane. Lucas Moura. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. And short it is. Oliver skip. And possibilities here. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. And it's come off the keeper. Well, threat averted. Wilfried Zaha. Half time then here in the English capital. Well, an influential performance so far from Son, you've got to say. How would you assess what he's put into the game, Stuart? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. So the second half underway, with Spurs looking to build upon a largely positive first-half performance. Delhi. Skip. Harry Kane. And Hoybier with it. Good visualisation and execution. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. So 2-0 now. And a good looking pass. Well, an easy one to cut out, really.
skip. Well, as you can see, Spurs have completely controlled the possession and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that. Encouraging move from Crystal Palace. How about the cross? And the cross not sufficiently well played in. Harry Kane. Jean-Philippe Mateta. He's found a pocket of space. Now this could really lift spirits. Absolutely spot on with that challenge. And slipped through beautifully. Running with the ball confidently. And he takes on the shot. Oh, really good reflexes and danger averted. Spurs to make a personnel switch now. Number 29, Oliver Skip, to be replaced by... Number 18, Giovanni Lo Celso. Double substitution for Crystal Palace. Coming off the pitch, number 15, Jeffrey Schlupp. Who can they pick out? And pushed away to safety. Number 4, Luka Mladenovic. Lo Celso. And Fabian with it. Lo Celso. Really getting stuck in defensively. Well, unable to hold his run, and that's offside. And a change for Spurs at this juncture. Just 15 minutes remaining. Kane. Lo Celso. They've chosen to go through Harry Kane. Options around him. Deli Alley. Now Son. And players waiting in the centre. So a deflection, and they can get ready for the corner kick routine. And played short. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. This might be ideal for the counter. MacArthur. Well, possibilities in the centre. Who continues his run? Well, spot on with that challenge. Pabier. Now Harry Kane. Kiel. Good looking ball. Doherty. And return to Kane. Pabier. And Pabier with it. Excellent passing. I just couldn't play that decisive ball. Luka Milivojevic and a good looking ball marvellous anticipation and clears the danger and with that the referee says that is the end of the match and Spurs victorious their fans are going to be happy with this
Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today. And the shining light for his team. No two ways about that. Harry Kane. Well, he should be happy with his goal and the win, but he'd be slightly annoyed that he hasn't scored a couple more. Overall, though, I thought he was excellent.